let us take a discussion further about uh, classical models of development. So the first model of development is Rostow's stages of growth. So Rostow imagines this that every society, every country will have to go through five different stages of growth. Every country has gone, has, has gone through these stages and developing countries will also go through the same stages, right? So these uh, stages are traditional society, preconditions for takeoff, take off, drive to maturity and age of mass consumption. Right. And these are the linear stages. So one will come after the another. And whether developed countries have gone or developing countries, both of these kind of countries will have to go through these stages of growth. Let's look at each of them one by one. So initially, there is a traditional society. So when I say traditional society, what do we, what do we mean by this? That Mainly there is subsistence agriculture. So people are people are producing everything for themselves only. They are producing food grains or they are uh, uh, growing crops mainly for their own consumption. They are not doing it for the market, right, generally. And whatever uh, technology is there that is very limited, that is very low level. And because of the limited technology, mainly the consumption, mainly production is for self-consumption. So the productivity is also very low. And in this kind of society, there is hardly any scope for innovation, right? Uh, any scope for change. So whatever I am doing, my next generation will also do the same thing. My very next, I mean, even the later generations will also do the same thing. There is hardly any change in the occupation. There is hardly any change in innovation. There is no social mobility also, right? Neither anybody would want to try any new technique of production. Right? Because they are okay with whatever is happening. Social structure is also hierarchical. This is what I've told that what in whatever occupation I am, my children will also be in the same occupation. Their children will also be in more or less in the same occupation. So societal structure, social structure is hierarchical. Right. Output is mainly for self-consumption. There's hardly any trade which is happening. So people are not doing it for trade. They're not producing it for the market. They're producing it for their own consumption. How much you can produce? Can you produce everything on your own? You know, no, I mean, that is not possible. So there is hardly any trade. Uh, forget about any import export, which is happening. So uh, this is a pre uh, Newtonian view. That is uh, the future will be almost same as what was the past. So there is an, there is not any change. As we are looking at so many changes at once, uh, it is not the case in the traditional society. So whatever happened in the past will happen in the future also. So the way the past was, future will also be in the same way. There is hardly any. So before society actually takes off, there are certain conditions have to be fulfilled. So one condition is that the production in agriculture becomes more commercial. The production is taking place for market, not for self-consumption. And if the production has to take, a, take place in the market, it has to be productive also. Uh, so productivity also increases. That is the first precondition. The another thing is that there is a centralized government which is maintaining law and order. And there is a national identity which is emerging. Transport is improving. Communication means are improving. There is a banking which has also uh, come into the picture in this particular stage of the development. Right. New techniques of development have been taken up in agriculture and industry both. There is this huge production which is going on. Uh, so, and society also feels this, that yes, economic progress is possible. Future doesn't have to resemble past only. Future can be even better than past. And investment increases to almost 5% of the national income. So some books, they actually give you this figure that the increases to around 5% of the national income. So basic thing is that investment has started increasing, right? In this particular stage. Now let's look at the second, the, the third. Now comes a takeoff stage. Now in this stage, the growth is self-sustaining. So you started growing and uh, the growth itself is going to sustain growth in the future. Right. So, and there are 
there are there are growth in the other transportation sector in the heavy industry sectors like railways steel um, even consumer goods sectors like textiles uh, so there is there is growth happening everywhere in the take off stage mm -hmm. savings and investment are increasing proportionally right so i mean earlier it was investment was only 5% now it is around 10% of gdp so there is huge investment which is being uh, which is being made mm -hmm. and there are entrepreneurs which are coming there is a working class which is coming so there are people who are working for someone there are people who are working for themselves right not everyone is engaged only in agriculture so people are thinking on their own also. and not everyone is working in factories also so people are creating jobs they are doing their own thing and they are creating jobs right so industry is also expanding it is not limited to only few sectors so it is touching many other sectors also and agriculture is purely commercialized so it is not for for self consumption it is commercialized it is for the market and uh, uh, there is there is capital formation which is happening in the country and for the development if you need foreign aid yes that is also available so there are other countries which are also help, helping you there is foreign direct investment which is also coming foreign aid which is also coming and all of that all of those resources are being used for the growth and uh, there is a huge increase in the investment uh, which is happening in this part and after the take off stage country has really progressed now um, economy is diversifying into various kinds of sectors those sectors which people have not thought before would exist right so earlier before internet have we ever thought okay, we could sell anything online that is not possible but now technology has spread to everywhere huh? so it has spread to all the sectors and because technology has spread to all sectors productivity has vastly increased right so there is urbanization there is better infrastructure there is improved education in this stage now the growth is also getting matured right it is self sustaining it is matured enough and growth itself is matured so for a very long time this country is growing right and it is experiencing the results of uh, the results of the fast growth that is they have improved infrastructure they have improved education they have better communication uh, so entrepreneurial activities are also widespread so there are more and more entrepreneurs which are coming so you think about us us is us because of entrepreneurs not everyone thinks there that we have to find a job indian mindset is still for the job but there are more in case of more entrepreneurs are going to come there will be more growth in the economy right even now now you can see that even in india uh, there are many entrepreneurs who are coming they are working for themselves and they are creating more jobs uh, and it, there are so many sectors sectors now in the economy that economy is not dependent only in few sectors uh, so growth can come from anywhere you do not have to depend only on this on this particular sector in case of this sector is growing then only growth is going to be sustained no, not not that not like that right and uh, standard of living is is steadily increasing in this particular and then comes the stage of uh, high consumption so in this stage the focus has changed from production to consumption focus has been on the rise in the service sector healthcare education entertainment uh, so people are consuming a lot of things right all of this was not possible few years before and uh, the welfare systems which are coming consumer durable goods are coming so welfare system is in you have a uh, better uh, uh, better care by the government in terms of the pension schemes right or uh, better insurance systems are coming better social security systems are coming uh, um there is better infrastructure expansion which is there uh, and people have their own income they have discretionary income they can spend it in whichever way they like their income is not just to satisfy basic needs just food shelter clothing oh ye to everyone has right so but they have income even beyond that so that they can consume many other things and sometimes they also consume those things which they don't want but still that's that's what it is 
that is we tend to buy so many clothes sometimes which we which we hardly wear right in uh, uh, so people have income which through which they buy all this uh, which is beyond their basic needs and the priorities of the government priorities of the society that also will change they will they will change more towards fairness there should be less inequality more equity there is the 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 preferences of the society has gone towards environment conserving environment towards security less crime so all of these are the different stages of growth and through which uh, every economy has to uh, has to pass whether developed economy or developing economy developed economies have gone through these stages developing economies are going through these stages so this is what rosto thought about uh, about the development path uh, for the different economies right so i hope it was useful to you thank you beta